this is my outfit of the day for class. Just white sneakers. Both of these are from Lulu's. It's a cute fall outfit. I'm so in love with it, but I'm running late, so gotta go. I just got home from lecture and I have a mini grocery haul because I went to the grocery store after and I got my favorite little snacks. These are so good, especially with strawberries. It just tastes divine. And then I got dark chocolate because it's my absolute top favorite. So good. Anytime, all the time. Of course, my trusty salt and vinegar chips always. And then coffee because I needed to try some new ones. I've been kind of lazy about going out and buying it and also making it at home. So we have these little alternatives. I've tried these before, but I've never tried this one. I thought it looked cute. And we might taste test later. That's my mini grocery haul. She's cute. with the fiddle shall we taste test i think we shall so it's a vanilla cold brew oat milk latte with collagen it's cute though it's pink i will give it that okay oh it's actually good like it's not too sweet but it's sweet enough <laughs> mm, i'm not the best at explaining things i'm not a coffee connoisseur i call that a win it's very delicious. I just made my favorite snack. Like I said, with strawberries and yogurt. As you can tell, I'm about to have a really good snacking session and also reading my book. Honestly, this could work. But I don't know. I'm not walking in like this, so I'll probably just do my hair inside. But I just wanted to test out what it would look like. So, I mean, my hair looks... I don't know. I haven't eaten breakfast. And if I go like this to the gym, I'd actually pass out. We're good to go. Yeah. Period. Update. I'm making myself another quesadilla because they're really good and... It's basically lunch time, it's 12, so that's my lunch slash breakfast. Again, the exact same thing I had yesterday. That's how you know it's good. So, <laughs> this is my lunch. I was about to put on a playlist, but I was reminded that Taylor Swift's album, her new album, comes out this week. I'm literally gonna cry die evaporate and come back to life just to listen to it i'm so excited so i'm gonna listen to taylor swift on my way to the gym because that is what cool girls do let's listen to all too well that fits the vibe oh my gosh i have tea but like i don't know if i should tell you maybe i'll tell you later all too well you guys i went harder than i thought i was going to Basically, I went on the Stairmaster, hit glutes on the machines, lifting weights, but like, that's a lot for me to do. Yeah, so, that's that. I was basically just washing the dishes, chilling out and posting on Instagram, but now I really am in the mood for a cool wrap from Chick-fil-A, so I think I'm gonna go with my brother. I'm also wearing this, but we're doing drive through clearly. I'm not gonna go out like this. Sweatpants are from H&M in the women's section, and then the sweatshirt is H&M men's section. So it's a crew neck, my favorite. I love this color. I'm just chilling. And I lit my candle, it's right here. This one, mahogany apple. You already know the vibes, if you know, you know. But yeah, that's the vibe. I don't know, like, I'm bothered. You know? Okay. I just finished my makeup 
and I'm gonna pick out an outfit. I don't know if I want to try today. Clearly, I don't know. But let's pick it out together, shall we? Especially when I'm in funks, I'm like, why would I ever leave my house? Like, I don't feel like it. But I'm forcing myself because yesterday I stayed in bed all day. And the thing is, like, the weather's so weird. Like, it's October. And is it cold? Is it hot? I really don't know. So I actually have to check before I leave. It's getting to be 70 degrees, 69. That's, like, still good. But in California, I feel like that that's a pass for a sweater. So I might just wear this crew neck. Or, I don't know. We'll see. Hold on. Okay, so basically I'm thinking... I'm thinking these white, th these are not white. I'm thinking these denim, big oversized baggy jeans from Zara with this Revolve Super Down bodysuit. I love this. I've worn it so many times. And let's add a little jacket. It's, it screams fall to me. This is from Lulu's. I don't know, I feel like it, it would look good. And then maybe Doc Martens. Okay. So, this is what this looks like. It, it's cute. I'm gonna try on one other choice that I feel like I might be more comfortable in <laughs> because this takes confidence and I don't know if I, I might be lacking that today. Um, and I'm going out in public, so hold on. This is my retail worker outfit. Might not work for Sephora now that I'm thinking about it. I'm wearing Uggs. The thing is, this is more like a pumpkin patch type of vibe and not like Sephora, like let's go beauty guru type of vibe, so. Let me come back. Okay, same bodysuit from earlier. I'm wearing this sweater from Lulu's, but it's like on reverse. You know, have you seen Matilda Jerf where she wears... Anyway, this is how I'm wearing it. Obviously the back, like the holes in the back, but the girls who get it, get it, and the girls who don't, don't. And that's all I'm gonna say about that, because if a girl sees me wearing it like this, she's gonna know that it was inspired by Matilda. And that's all I want, so who cares about the rest? Um, I think I'm gonna wear this. This is the final outfit with Uggs. It's so funny because I'm just getting started with my day. My brother's gonna be home from school any second now. We gotta go. Okay, y'all. We're in the car now, and I've decided I wanna get Starbucks first. I don't know if I should get a matcha or a coffee, but we'll see what they have in stock. Uh, honestly, the past week, they haven't had matcha, so we'll see. But I'm, I'm gonna get myself a drink and a drink. I need to get a car wash. But there's like a lot of people at the car wash right now. I don't know if I want to deal with that. Also, the actual like process of getting onto the rails gives me so much anxiety. My car has like these sensors so like you can see around you, like the camera. So I might actually use that to my advantage. Every time before that, I would get so anxious trying to put my car onto the rails because the guy would be like, no, come this way. And I'd be like, how much more? But whatever. We're going to get a car wash because it's been like three or four weeks. That's a lot. I also just remembered that I have a deadline for a campaign that's due tomorrow. And I have not even started filming for that. Hold on, let me turn this off. I haven't even started filming for it. So I either have to do that tonight or figure it out tomorrow. Everything will be fine. I know that everything will work out, but that's just something else that's on my mind now and it sucks. I just got out of the car wash. I didn't feel like cleaning the car like on the inside, but like the outside is washed. And I got my Starbucks today's a, I got a brown sugar oat milk shake and espresso. It'll do it for me. But I'm playing Taylor Swift. I'm playing her new album. So that's the vibe. And honestly, Anytime Taylor Swift is playing, I feel like my mood just gets better or like she helps me out And that's what I was doing earlier when I was washing the dishes It was kind of therapeutic because I had the water on hot and then I was just like washing and then Taylor Swift was playing in the background And it was folklore, but it was just too good too good and it helped out a lot So I suggest listening to your favorite music artist if you're ever in a funk music heals the soul And that's my tacky thing that I'm gonna say today. I'm going to drive safely now. Don't worry um I'll check in with you in a little bit. We did it, we're here now, and I'm gonna see if they have my Laneige lip mask. Sephora haul! I'm so excited. They had my Laneige lip mask, let me just say that. So clearly, I got her. The last one that I had, like I said, lasted me an entire year. So, cheers to another year with a Laneige. This is my ride or die. 
can't live without her i should honestly get one for my car I was walking through the aisles and i saw that they had the ilia voluminizing mascara in like a small version so i wanted to try it because usually i use the lengthening one which i love so much it's the one i have on right now but i want to see if the volumizing one does any good so we'll see if it works on me but i got that finally they had my olaplex number three I used to use this all the time when I would get out of the shower, I would brush my hair and put this in it, like kind of like a, like a deep conditioner. And it works so well, like my knots would come out so effortlessly. Three little items, but it was so successful. I feel so much better than I did this morning. And it's weird because it's already 4.30. So I'm just gonna call my morning another day. Like that was a different day. I wasn't in the right headspace and we're, we're past that. We're past that. I'm in a new era. And I'm gonna say that a lot. I've been saying that to my friends and stuff and they're probably like so annoyed by me, but I think it's so funny like calling it eras because honestly you can get over things really easily and just call that an era and leave it in the past because that's what it is. Whatever's coming next is a new era and we're just gonna look forward to that. So that's my spiel. I'm gonna say that, period, okay? But we have our little Sephora haul. It was necessary for the soul and I've gotten comments where they're like, wow, she said she was productive, but all she did was spend money and like uh, participate in overconsumption and whatever. And I'm like, guys, if it makes me happy, if it makes me feel better about myself, I'm conscious of what I'm doing and it's not hurting anyone technically. I feel like if it makes my mental health better, I I'm gonna, I'm gonna slide it under the rug and be like, okay, maybe I should have saved this money, but then again, just I needed to do it today. And it's not like I do this every day. So it's like a little treat yourself. If I'm spending money and consuming things, like it's not an everyday type of thing, you know? So do what makes you feel good. And if people have something to say about it, people are always gonna have something to say about anything. So what if someone says something dumb? Like people, there are some really, questionable people in this world and you can't please everyone so that's another thing that i wanted to bring up is like if it makes you feel happy if it doesn't harm anyone don't listen to what other people have to say about it because at the end of the day they're not you and you're not hurting anyone and it makes you feel happy so who cares yeah i'm gonna go get dinner now guys i just ordered food and i didn't know that the meal that i ordered with came with a churro i didn't know <coughs> what a pleasant surprise this completely changed my entire day. Like, whatever I said in the past, that stays in the past. Right now, I'm in my churro era, and that's all I'm gonna say. Okay, y'all, I am home now, and I'm just booking a hair appointment because I need it so bad. Clearly, my hair is orange now, and while the redhead trend is going around is so cute, I just don't think I can pull it off. I just, it just doesn't go. Like, my eyebrows are really dark and black. Obviously, my roots are, like, basically black. Um, and so this red orange hair is not it for me the place where I go to usually like my favorite girl left <laughs> So now I have to find a new hairstylist there which sucks But I mean I just need a basic hair dye thing it says all over color or a toner slash gloss and I don't know I feel like I just need a gloss. Mm -hmm. I don't know I want someone nice. <laughs> How do I know who's nice? Hold on. I'm literally trying to book this Give me one second period. I did it we got the hair appointment, guys. No longer will be a redhead as of Thursday, November 3rd. That's nine days from now. I have like a week left with this hair, which is fine. Like I, I can deal with it. It's also convenient because the day that I booked it is actually my friend's birthday and I have the appointment like at 1230. So if we do anything in the evening or like that weekend, I'll have nice blown out hair and it'll look good. So I feel like it all worked out. That's just one thing that I like to do. Book something that, you know, makes you excited to live. No, I'm just kidding. I feel like it's always helpful to like have something to look forward to in the near future. It's literally like I wake up and live the same day over and over again, that can get to your head. And I feel like that's what's been happening. If you're feeling like low, you don't feel motivated to do something, like switch it up and book something that makes you happy. Maybe you wanna book a facial. <laughs> I've never done that. I feel like that is peak luxury, but I feel like it's better to spend money on that than like, like the way I justify this stuff is like, I could be spending this stuff on really bad things like drugs, alcohol, but obviously, clearly like, I'm spending it on stuff that makes me happy and is good for me. So, yeah, self-care basically. Um, and that's why I have such a big book collection. Plan something for future you that will make you excited, is what I'm trying to say. 
I like how I started this video laying in bed and now like I'm back in my bed. I feel like I'm talking a lot, but then again, like I haven't vlogged in a bit because obviously I've not been feeling it. But yesterday, actually no, two days ago, not yesterday, two days ago, I finished the Hawthorne, wait, what was it? The Inheritance Games. And it was so good. Once I got to like the middle of it, I just kept turning the pages because I couldn't stop. I'm like, what? Like every single time I would like gasp out loud, <gasps> you're done, you're lying. So that would keep me like flipping the pages. I started the next book immediately and I'm, I just barely started it like I'm three chapters in but it was so good that I have to recommend if you're in a reading slump read the inheritance games because that thing is a page turner and the chapters are like two pages long they're really short two three pages I feel like short chapters are very nice because they motivate you to like keep going you're just like oh I can fit in one more chapter it's like two pages and then you just keep doing that until you're like done with the book so that's basically what happened to me but yeah if you haven't heard of the inheritance games basically it's like this girl she's like 17 and she's literally like so poor in high school she's like living out of her car and then all of a sudden one day she gets the news that this random billionaire in Texas like named her the heir for his estate and all his money and she's like what is going on like I don't even know this man what the heck so she has to go to the mansion the estate whatever and she meets the whole family that she basically stole the inheritance from without trying the man has four grandsons and they're all so they're described as like very handsome and like they're billionaire's grandson so they're like really smart and witty and they're all just trying to figure her out and while she's trying to figure out what the heck is happening she's also trying to help them I feel like this and the next one have a little bit more romance because it's like a love triangle what what a girl's dream like she's living the dream i'm so jealous of her being in a love triangle first of all i can't even get one guy to fall in love with me how am i supposed to get two and like have them fight over me like that is so peak i love that so yeah that's the vibe right now thank you for joining me this afternoon i will update you in a little bit don't worry do you see this old Laneige? hold on she is literally scraped and like there's nothing left Laneige is a big sleigh if you want a sleigh get Laneige it's the best twenty dollars you'll spend i know some people are like why would you ever spend twenty dollars on a chapstick type of thing but when I tell you every single time I put this on it's a luxurious experience and my lips literally thank me every single time I stand by this I've worn it 365 days this year and I will continue to wear it of course save your money if you want sis but if you want to spend money spend it on Laneige and that's all I'm gonna say that's not sponsored I wish it was I thought I'd put my hoodie on for this segment. We're getting cozy. It's not even tea. I wouldn't even call it that because my life is so boring. I guess that's what I get for protecting my piece a little too hard. But it's fine. We like it this way. It's just that this happened and now I'm calling it major tea. I wanted to bring this story up in the first place is because Midnight's has so many songs on there that are so relatable to me because of that situation. I have this thing where I get older but just never wiser. So relatable, hello. I should probably say goodbye because this is too much for me. Yeah, I'm literally just gonna blow dry my hair, read a book, go to sleep. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching me because this video was all over the place and it just shows the chaos that is my brain. But at least we're out of our slump now. I feel so much better. Like, I took a shower. I washed away all the negative energy. I listened to Taylor Swift. I ranted my heart out to you guys, and that's great. We're good now, and I think tomorrow's gonna be a better day. Let's pray. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.